right, thank you, James. And this morning, we're expecting to hear from officials with the America's Cup about yesterday's deadly accident on the bay. The Swedish team Artemis practicing for the races when their boat capsized, killing a crew member. Crowd Force Mike Pelton has the latest. You see behind the rocks there, behind the fence, that red sliver, these are the remains of that Artemis racing catamaran after it capsized out in the bay. It was towed here to Clipper Cove on Treasure Island where it remains dry docked, and we hope to get some more information on this incident and what this means for America's Cup at a press conference with America's Cup officials set for 11 o'clock this morning. Now take a look at some video from our helicopter partnership with ABC7 News. The AC-72 catamaran, which is a 72-foot catamaran, capsized north of Treasure Island around one yesterday afternoon. The Artemis racing team, a Swedish team, was practicing out in the bay when the catamaran capsized, sending the 11 man crew into the water. Crews managed to rescue all members of the team except for sailor Andrew Simpson, who authorities say was stuck under the boat for 10 minutes. Officials performed CPR and brought him to the shores of the St. Francis Yacht Club, where they tried to save his life but were unable to do so. Fire officials say the conditions out on the bay were very very windy, but not extreme, with winds between 15 and 20 knots. The San Francisco Police Department will now work to determine what caused that boat to capsize. And then again, at 11 o'clock this morning, America's Cup officials are holding a press conference. We'll talk about this incident, and you can expect with America's Cup beginning just two months from now on July 4th, there will be lots of questions about safety. On Treasure Island, Mike Pelton, Cron 4 News. And our team coverage continues now with Cron 4's Will Tran. He is live at the Alameda headquarters of Artemis this morning with more on the sailor who died and what they're doing this morning. Will? Daria, a very tough day, of course, for the people who knew Andrew Simpson, specifically his team members out here. And you can see two of them on the catamaran. There are about 100 team members who make this work, and some of them are showing up this morning with long faces. They didn't want to go on camera, but one person told me, we're a family. So if we need to be here to honor him, then we'll be here. A lot of them just showed up and then they left here. We are waiting to find out uh, what happened to this uh, as far as the accident when the news conference begins at 11 o'clock. These people obviously not even worried about that. They are thinking about Andrew Simpson trying to do their best to move on. We got a chance to talk to a neighbor of this huge wharf here, this warehouse industrial area, a woman who works right across the way. She said normally this place would be so so busy with activity from the people from the racing team not exactly busy this morning people just doing the best that they can to move on we got a chance to talk to the business neighbor here's what she's noticing this morning so much action every day and takes so many people to get that into the water <laughs> you know but um looks like a good group of people and then we feel so bad it was so sad to hear about that yesterday just really broke our hearts <laughs> you know so and now this morning they're not thinking oh. about racing they're thinking oh. about and the Andrew lot is empty I mean you, you you can tell it right away we walk every morning and um, it, it just the parking like I said the parking lots packed and this morning they're just in mourning it's it's really sad Here's a picture of Andrew Simpson. He's been a sailor pretty much since he was six years old, Daria, that he lived out in the sea. So much so, so well, that in 2008, he won a gold medal at the Beijing Games. In 2012, just last year, he won a silver medal in London as well. He came out here because he liked the challenge of San Francisco Bay as far as the choppy conditions, that they could have gone anywhere else in the world to practice for, for this race and then just to perform the race itself. But they said they really like San Francisco Bay and all of the challenges that the waters, the winds, all of those things present to the sailors. Now, we are going to move over at 930 and show you a growing memorial that's going on here at the dock here, and we'll show that to you coming up at 930. Back to you. All right, very good. Thanks a lot, Will.